We're here at the BenQ office here in Taipei, and uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Will. I'm the power manager of BenQ Projector Business Unit. And you have a beautiful yeah. 4K projector right here. Yeah, this is our um, first 4K projector ever first. And uh, its name is uh, W11000. It has a 2000 ANC lumens and a high contrast and also with a THS certification. And right now it's projecting a huge 4K display. How big is this display? Is 200 inch uh, or something? This screen is about 160 inch. 160 inch right now? Yes. And I filmed this video before with the inventor of the plasma display and you can see air, you can see all the details. This is this is like a cinema. Yes. It's designed for the high um, professional cinema use at home. So we provide a four uh, eight point three megapixels in this machine so we can uh, display every details of a 4K um, image or 4K Blu-ray video. 8 megapixels yes. using the DLP 4K, the new yes. 4K technology that's yes. uh, in the DLP. Yes. So it's it, how bright is this one? This is about 2,000 and about 2,000 uh, 2,200. Yeah. 2,200 yes. and how's the quality of the colors? Colors matches the Rec 709 colors best. So REC 709, that's yes. industry standard for... Uh, yeah, it's an industry level yeah. for the uh, Full HD. And we plan to uh, upgrade it in the next generation to be have a, more, a larger color space. And we also have a, uh, another X12000, which features a DCI-P3 color space. So this, uh, we have two kind of uh, different uh, projectors that is 4K and provide to the, uh, our target users. That's really cool. Uh, so this been um, this this was one of the first uh, new 4K projector yes. on the DLP system, right? Yes, it's the first uh, consumer level of 4K DLP projector. How, consumer was, level, how much it cost? What's the price? How it's, much? It looks pretty big. Um, we, it's about five thousand uh, US dollars in the, in the US, and in Europe it costs more like uh, five five thousand. Uh, uh, 500 euros. 5,500 euros. Yes. And here we have a, a lamp cover, which you can replace the lamp just by placing here. And you can see. Is it a special lamp? Uh, it's a okay, universal lamp. lamp. Universal yeah. lamp. So uh, how, uh, it will uh, last for two, uh, how, how many hours? It lasts for uh, 6,000 uh, 6, hours, yes, in smart mode. Let's go close to the screen. I want to try to see how it uh, feels to watch this because uh, um, I think it it's it's this is the best way to have 4K. You want to have it on a big, big, big screen. Otherwise, yes. there's no point in having 4K, right? The 4K TV is okay, but it's it's too small, maybe. Yes, and we think uh, if you want to enjoy the the benefit of 4K, you better you use a projector because the projector is big enough for you to have a full details of a 4K image. For a TV size, is uh, the mainstream TV size right now is about 50 to 60 inches. But at that size, it's hard to tell the difference from a full HD one. So using a larger 4K display, you can fully enjoy the this 4K advantages. I've been posting 4K for more than a year uh, on my YouTube, and this is the first time I can see the quality of my video, I think. Because uh, even if I'm checking on a 4K TV, you have to go up close and look like very close. Here you yeah. can, this like, even though I just have a Sony AX53, which is not the biggest sensor, um, it, is, it is pretty awesome to see all this detail. I, I don't. Uh, this has nothing. Uh, this has nothing to do with 1080p. I have a BenQ W 1070 in my home. How, what's the difference between this and a and a 1080p? 1080p. Um, it, the 4K image is, is as much as four times of pixel counts and details than a 4HD, and we made it for the uh, professional home cinema use. So even the contrast or even the color, even uh, any other. Uh, uh, parameters regarding the image quality is much better than our W1070 because W1070 we think is for the home entertainment and it's, it's good for the uh, ordinary use. But if you want to have a high quality 4K, Blu-ray, movies, watching at home, you should buy this one. 
So yeah. how popular is this? Because you already have it for a few months on the market, and uh, so is this the most popular 4K projector ever? Yeah, I think it is. Yes, it is popular. Yeah, and it features the higher qualities in our 4K uh, consumer level projectors. We have we have better features, better image qualities than uh, any other uh, technologies of 4K. So, um, what is Epson doing with 4K? It's not the same. They're uh, what they're doing is that they use a uh, uh, lower re resolution of panels. They use a uh, 1920 uh, uh, multiple by the 1080p resolutions of panels to have a uh, 4K images. But what they uh, produce is about 4.1 megapixels, and it's far less than the. Uh, 4K UHD display should have a full 4K UHD display should have more than 800 8 megapixels, and ours our DLP technology can pr produce more than that. We can produce 8.3 megapixels than the 3 LCD. That is two times more than the 3 LCD cam. And uh, there's all these other logos here. What what do the logos mean? There's uh, yeah, first one it features a DLP, DLP technology. THX. And second one it features. This uh, W11000, it got a THS certification, and it's a professional uh, uh, certification in audiovisual industry. And third one is that uh, we features our own um, cinema cinematic color technology, which can produce accurate and high quality colors in the image, in the videos. And we have a Cinema Master. This is our advanced image processing technologies. It features uh, some uh, functions like a pixel enhancer that is make the image sharper, and also the color enhancer that makes your color more saturated and vivid. Yeah. So uh, you have all kinds of image processing, which is a big part of your uh, product. Yes. You cannot just have 4K and not do image processing. Then there's no point, right? Yeah. So besides the 4K, we have so much functions that for professional use. What Users can adjust their images as much as that they want. They can adjust it according to their home environment and make it better at is your it home. 4K 60. 4K 60, yes. Yeah. It's so it's two HDMI 2.0A or 2.0B. Uh, so 2.0. 2.0. You can see that we have two HDMI ports here. Uh, we are connecting HDMI 1, is, which is uh, HDMI 2.0 and HDCP 2.2. And the second port is uh, HDMI uh, 1.4. Okay. Yeah, so this one, but uh, both, uh, both ports can, can uh, output 4K images. So it's 4K 2.0, both of them, and then there's audio out also, USB, mini B, all kinds of other stuff. What do you do with the other thing? The, the other stuff is like, uh, R2, two, 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 three, uh this port is for the control, and uh, another port like this, this is a firmware upgrade. We we do a service upgrade, firmware upgrade from USB port, and the main so the main uh, uh, old video output is the HDMI and PC. So did and you have already some other firmware updates? You do already some update or since launch? Yeah, we may have some uh, firmware update or software update. Uh, at the next or maybe a uh, next quarter will have better quality maybe yeah all right if we found anything we can improve we will release our and software it's a gigabit LAN yeah so people can do stuff over the network also yeah people uh, people can uh, remote control the projector from a crash or the MMS so uh, who's the customer who buy this product uh, so so far is a uh, home or is also a small cinema or uh, we think like uh, people use it in their at their home as a private home cinema. Yeah. And but we have tried we have tried to project it into a three hundred inch image and it still produces a vivid and uh, uh, sharp images. Even, 300 even inch. under three hundred. Yes. We made it. Uh, we made a, some media launch at India at Japan, and we uh, we projected three hundred inch image. Because yeah, because, and uh, it's good. It's still good. This is a five thousand dollar around or a little bit more uh, investment, but then you can open a cinema. Yes. So in sure. India, you can start a new cinema f in a small village. Yes. Uh, it's so, capable. Uh, then you can. How do you? How do people get four K content? Four K content. There's uh, more and more. There's there's many of four K contents you can buy. Maybe some movies from Amazon, 
or you, you may contact your local maybe like uh, uh, AV dealers if, if they have some import some 4K Blu-ray discs you can enjoy the 4K movies with your player and with the W11000 HDR? Yes, HDR So it has all the HDR func uh, support uh, right also? Right now, this, uh, we don't have HDR now but we are considering to improve it yeah, because HDR uh, uh, in fact, HDR, they don't have a real uh, specification for the projectors. It's a different HDR, right? It's, uh, right now, HDR only applies to the TVs, but not exactly for the projectors. So, uh, you can see that some projectors that feature in the 4K HDR, but while the, the effect, their output, that is not totally correct. So, in our point of view, we will emphasize that we have a good quality in standard uh, dynamic range SDR and about HDR we will keep com uh, improving it into our next generation of product all right yeah. so so uh, um, there it is uh, this is the W11000 uh, people can order it on all kinds of uh, distributors they already have it everywhere like in Europe USA yes. Asia everywhere yes everywhere in, in China, India is available India yes so in India they can buy, uh, and anybody can start a new cinema. Yes. And uh, just get the 4K, 4K movies. Every movie should be in 4K now because the 30, 35 millimeters they can digitize in 4K, and uh, people can just go on my YouTube channel and they can get 4K content if they need. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks for a sharing lot. this. So. Oh, quite <laughs>